नाजरीन दिल अपना पाकिस्तान के साथ इंतब अहमद आज पाकिस्तानी कनेडियन कम्यूनिटी एसोसिएशन की वीमेंस के साथ यहाँ पे हैं और ये इन्होंने अटेंड किया था फंक्शन देखते रहिए वैंकूवर की जान दिल अपना पाकिस्तान हेलो एवरी वन हैप्पी कैनडा डे Today is an opportunity to celebrate our country and everyone who calls it home. But it's also an opportunity to reflect on what we've achieved as a country and what more we have to do. Happy Canada Day. Nazreen Dilip from Pakistan ke sath hain sab hain. Aaj Canada Day pe jo ke Pakistani community ne ye function organize kiya hai isme यहाँ पे कनाडा डे मनाया जा रहा है कनाडा डे मनाने का मकसद यही है कि हम अपनी आज़ादी को together to make Canada stronger and we have to do that each and every day each and every hour and you know i was looking out over the audience and it's so nice to see so many faces again after so long having not to get out and so forth but i was just reflecting the most important table in this room is in the back there right in the corner where all the kids are and we can make a far better life for everyone so the future to me is very very bright learn from the past let's move forward let's enjoy everybody and let's really have a good time and we're developing this city this council has been the most progressive council i have ever seen we just approved over 250 million dollars of infrastructure projects a lot in sports we're building new sports stadiums a new community centers we're building soccer fields i just was lobbied and i'm going to put it into the infrastructure that we got to build a good cricket field in surrey wow that's good but i have one advice Please keep the cricket games down less than five days. <laughs> Anyways, we are going to build a cricket. That's my commitment. A first-class international cricket match in Surrey. Very good. Very good. Very good. Yeah. Because we want to build facilities, and I'm a big sports fan. That's how we can keep our kids healthy, keep our kids out of trouble, get them involved in sports. Anyways, I promise to be short. Sorry, well, nice to see everybody. I it makes me really really happy. Um have a good night and let's remember let's treat all our neighbors no matter where they're from as friends, as business acquaintances and let's work together and make this city of Surrey the best city in the world. Thank you very much. I would like to see one day a cricket team originated from surrey <laughs> having names like let's say akhtar malik with inderjit singh and andrew mcallen defeating pakistani and indian cricket team that, that would i would like to one day see that match despite being a pakistani i would like to wear a canadian flag on my chest and say look this is what unity means this is what integration of society means so i would like the pakistani community and the other communities and I, this is my favorite quote and i love saying it to be a force of love the force of integration bring people together bring societies together bring ethnicities together you have already done it just need to show the rest of the canada how to do my well wishes and my prayers are all there for all the people i thank you so very much once again i'm honored to be here now i would like to call upon uh, our councilor elison payton to please come on the stage thank you thank you thank you very much i just had just two things to say um one thing i wanted to mention Uh, reflecting what 
uh, Ken Hardy was saying earlier about healing. Um, the thing that I understand about healing is in order to heal, if we remove the obstacles to cure, we can heal. And healing is from within. So in terms of our indigenous peoples or any of us who have had issues that have happened to us, the, the answer to our healing is from within. And if help with the removal of the obstacles, then we will heal. And in terms of community, so this wonderful group that you are is a community group. So I appreciate you all. And in order to strengthen a community, all we need is to strengthen the individual relationships that make up the community. So something like this tonight, where we gather together, is an, is an example of how we can strengthen our communities. So we are doing it. And, it, and as our mayor had said, we keep building and building on this each day, each moment. Then that is what will help us in that healing. So thank you very much. Uh, great to be here. Canada has a history of cultural evolution from a worse colonial racism to a culture of great Canadian values and multiculturalism. Canada is a country where all citizens can enjoy freedom, prosperity and equality. We understand in a human society there will always be social and cultural issues present but with available solutions. It is the collective responsibility of all of the cultural groups to Vancouver ki jaan, Karachi ki shaan, Dil apna Pakistan, Dil apna Pakistan. Sundays at 3.30 p.m., Dil apna Pakistan brings you Canadians with roots in Pakistan and features community information and entertainment. Hello everyone, happy Canada Day. Today is an opportunity to celebrate our country and everyone who calls it home but it's also an opportunity to reflect on what we've achieved as a country and what more we have to do. This past year and a half has been difficult. The pandemic has changed our daily lives, taught us hard lessons and kept us apart. But if this difficult time has taught us all one thing, it's that in times of challenge or crisis, Canadians are there for one another. We've all helped our communities stay safe and healthy. We sat through countless Zoom birthdays and milestones. We put signs up in our windows and banged on pots and pans for our frontline healthcare heroes. Um, I'm tired. It's been a long, uh, a long year. We ordered takeout and shopped local to help our small businesses. Our kids skipped graduations and sleepovers. And Following the horrific discoveries of hundreds of children at the sites of former residential schools in BC and Saskatchewan, we all stopped to reflect on the historical and ongoing injustices. And we, as Canadians, must be honest with ourselves about our history. Because in order to chart a new and better path forward, we have to recognize the terrible mistakes of our past. The truth is, we've got a long way to go to make things right with Indigenous peoples. But if we all pledge ourselves to doing the work, we can achieve reconciliation. We can build a better country for everyone. Because Canada's history also shows us that we can do hard things. It's a choice we make, and one that Canadians have made time and time again. Now, as we work to finish the fight against COVID-19 and build back better, I know that the same values that Canadians have lived this past year, hope, hard work, kindness, resilience, and respect, will carry us forward. The most important thing we can all do right now is do what we're told to do to help bring this all to an end. Keep our distances, keep positive, um, keep life going, and we're all going to get through this, um, but we, we don't know when that when it's all going to be over, but it will be someday.
So let's try and stay positive. What makes Canada special is not the belief that this is the best country in the world, it's the knowledge that we could be. And until everyone feels safe walking the streets of our communities, until everyone has the same opportunities to succeed, until everyone can live their lives free from discrimination, hatred and violence, we have work to do. But whether it's ending the pandemic, tackling the climate crisis, standing against intolerance, or walking the path of reconciliation, no challenge we face will be too great if we face it together. Be unstoppable. unstoppable. Because the progress we've made as a country didn't happen by accident and won't continue without effort. So, Today, as we celebrate this amazing place we all call home and the people we share it with, let's also recommit ourselves to doing the hard work together. And tomorrow, let's tackle our challenges head on so we can build a better future for all. Happy Canada Day, everyone. I just had just two things to say. Um, one thing I wanted to mention, uh, reflecting on what uh, Ken Hardy was saying earlier about healing. Um, the thing that I understand about healing is, in order to heal, if we remove the obstacles to cure, we can heal, and healing is from within. So in terms of our indigenous peoples or any of us who have had issues that have happened to us, the, the answer to our healing is from within, and it helped with the removal of the obstacles, then we will heal. And in terms of community, so this wonderful group that you are is a community group. In, in, so I appreciate you all. And in order to strengthen a community, all we need is to strengthen the individual relationships that make up the community. So <coughs> something like this tonight, where we gather together, is an, is an example of how we can strengthen our communities. So we are doing it. And, it, and as our mayor had said, we keep building and building on this each day, each moment, then that is what will help us in that healing. So thank you very much. Uh, great to be here. Thank you so much, uh, uh, Alison Petty. Now I would like to call uh, our MLA, Mr. Jagru Brar, please come on the stage. Assalamu alaikum and Sasrikawa, good evening. The first thing I want to say is uh, that this is my first event inside under the roof after 15 months. So I just want to say thanks to all of you for your cooperation to men over 90. I think we as a province has done a pretty good job and thanks. Thanks to all of you. Thank you. Mayor, I want to take on your, uh, I'm really excited about having the cricket field here in Sari, and the uh, uh, Consul General has also said that. But one thing that has to happen, and Saad Panu Saab is sitting here, Imran Khan Saab has to come and inaugurate that. Oh, oh wow, wow, wow. Awesome, awesome. I would like to call the uh, but Minister of Labor, Mr. Harry Beans, to please come on stage and share your views with us. Thank you very much. I just want to say on behalf of uh, Premier Horgan, BC government, uh, it is a time to reflect as we celebrate Canada Day. And much has been said, and I will not go too deeply into it, but we must recognize that we must put a healing process in place, a real healing process in place, and move on, as the, the mayor has said. And we will. The second thing is, it is Canada Day, 
and we must celebrate Canada Day. Canada has given us a lot to everyone across the world. We all came here to make this our country and we have enjoyed it. Canada embraced us and we talk about the past wrongs, of course we need to recognize that. We talk about what is happening today, what happened in London, Ontario, what's happening in our mosques, in Gurdwaras, in North America in the last few years. We cannot forget that. We cannot allow a few of those to turn Canada into that scandalized knot. It's our Canada, we are Canada, and we are going to change this. We're not going to allow someone come in and run over a family who is just going out for a walk. And we want a Canada, I just heard the other day, what in the legislature I agree, we talk about a Muslim family in Chilliwack who was giving rights, going door to door, but number of our volunteers taking them into uh, into into cooler places, into safer places. That's what Canada is all about. That's who we are as Canada. And you know, I also at the end want to say thank you. As we are moving pandemic behind us, it just didn't happen by accident. It's all of you. All the organizations, the mosques, the temples, the gurdwaras, and number of individuals and organizations that played a key role in helping each other like the Muslim family that I talked about, like there are other many families out there. So I just want to say thank you very much. Let's move the pandemic behind us, move forward. Let's have face-to-face -face meeting more so. And I, I think, you know, Canada is going to be a better Canada because we are committing to make it better so that our children have more equal Canada, <coughs> more just Canada. It's all up to us. We're going to do it. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Minister. Minister, I would like to call Ms. Jenny Sim to please come on the stage. Thank you, Mr. Thank you very much. Uh, first of all, thank you to PCCABC. I remember the acronym uh, for organizing this and giving us an opportunity to, I would say, celebrate Canada Day, but at the same time reflect on what it means to be a Canadian. And yes, I'm a proud Canadian. I am from Pakistan, but yeah, 23 years ago I came, I flourished. I'm a very proud Canadian, and you can see, uh, I take a pride of my hijab as well. I'm no doubt about it. Especially, uh, we believe a lot of lip service has been done, and I'm so glad after Rachna uh, mentioned that we are already working on the uh, guidelines how we are going to get rid of this, uh, this Islamophobia and all these, you know, cultural, uh, you know, uh, things are happening. No doubt London, Ontario freaked me out too. And believe me, uh, two or three days it took me because whenever I go for my walk, I say, do I look too Muslim? No doubt, I do look Muslim. <laughs> so I was just stopped going for the walk and then I listened to myself. I said, no, enough is enough. I think it's not going to be any problem. So we are proud uh, Canadian. We are all each and every day chipping our share to make this country beautiful and better. And I'm positive with the positivity we have. And also today when I just noticed in the morning how we validate First Nation people. Today, Canada is different from the past, but it validates that we have reconciled their concern and going forward, this is not going to happen and we will build a better, beautiful, bright and shining Canada. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Pashkina. Now I would like to call Mr. Malik Afzal to please come on the stage and share your ways with us. The name of Allah, the most beneficent, the most merciful. I'm a student of Canadian history and the culture, and I also teach that. I'm a professor. When I was going through the history books and videos, it was horrible, and I wept. I have tears in my eyes. What happened? So what happened with our indigenous people in our uh, residential schools? We, this is a scar on the face of Canada. 
it's not only few hundred children's corpses were found. Six thousand children are missing. If you go to the anvil of the history, you will know that six thousand. Now I, I would like to call our <coughs> Vice President, Mr. Intihab Ahmed. Uh, please come on stage and share your views with us. Thank you very much for giving me this opportunity to address you guys. Uh, all uh, community is uh, our favorite community which is sitting here and we love all of you. Your speeches were very good and uh, I don't want to elaborate uh, what has been said but uh, I still want to say that uh, it's time to move forward and remembering our history and our history uh, will uh, teach us to uh, how we can correct our uh, future. Thank you very much for this one and then thank you very much. Thank, thanks a lot. Yeah, congratulations to whole family, hardworking family. I would like to call uh, Doug McCollum, the mayor of um, city, the super Surrey city mayor Doug McCollum. So it will be super city. Yes. Uh, so please come over and give a word to uh, Mr. Asad Gondal. He has pulled our community through this pandemic and this pandemic has uh, so, so along with his team he has done very well uh, let me say something uh, we are proud of our community members they put thousands and thousands of hours working for the community organizing events masks and also uh, mr gondal is a is a different vision with the different vision he brings religious to the community service invite him on the stage to say a few words on the Canada Day thank you very much in uh, ladies and gentlemen uh, I represent the Pakistani Canadian Cultural Association uh, on behalf of that association um, I, I must acknowledge the indigenous community I must acknowledge that uh, it's a, it's a, it's a difficult, these times are difficult times and now we're celebrating Canada Day. When I think about um, how I say it's happy Canada Day or uh, how can I say happiness here? But still we have to say it uh, because this country has given us a lot and uh, no matter what happens, we have to move on. And a lot of speakers said the same thing. Uh, within that, uh, I would still say it's a great Canada Day. This this country given us a lot of uh, a lot of freedom, so we are all enjoying it, and that's why we're sitting together. Concluding uh, remarks, I have our president. Uh, your your hard work is uh, really paying off. People are listening our our speeches very humbly. So please come over, and uh, your concluding remarks will be uh, beneficial for the community. Thank you. <coughs> Thank you very much, Uh People are almost losing their fashion now, right? So I uh, and uh, we hope that we everybody stick to the uh, Canada Day and celebration and uh, society in Canada. But we just uh, some of our friends go on politics. That's fine, but uh, uh, that's okay. Things happen. But uh, next time, this is our uh, uh, stage committee should uh, guide everybody how to proceeding should go on this stage and uh, I wouldn't take uh, much of your time now actually we have to deliver our board of director message to you what we think about the uh, Canada Day and uh, I first of all again start with the thank you uh, welcoming everybody uh, Mr. Doug Mukalam we already welcome but we welcome again uh, Mr. Changez Khan our uh, friend lawyer Jimmy Sims, Ken Hardy, Mr. Kennedy, MP, Chantal Khan, Coach General Pakistan, thank you. We are honored. Uh, Alison, uh, Council of City, uh, thank you very much. I just want to be a little go faster. Uh, that's my Parliament is Secretary on dis Discrimination, Mr. Jagru Pran, our favorite uh, uh, MLA from where I live. Thank you, sir. Thank you, everybody, and community leaders. 
I thank you everybody. Uh, Pakistani Canadian Community Association wishes happy Canada Day to all. We are proud citizens of the extraordinary country that give us so much to be grateful for. Today we thank to individuals who worked hard and pull us out of pandemic and to our health leaders, politicians, community members who demonstrated immense maturity and sacrifice including the city of Surrey, council and staff. Thank you. Canada has a history of cultural evolution from a worse colonial racism to a culture of great Canadian values and multiculturalism. Canada is a country where all citizens can enjoy freedom, prosperity and equality. We understand in a human society there will always be social and cultural issues present but with available solutions. It is the collective responsibility of all of the cultural groups to understand and resolve them. सब के दिल का चैन तू है तो है रोशन ये दिन ये रे तू ही आज भी है तू ही कल भी है तुझ में हम सब की